Welcome back to Inside Boxing Throwdown. My name is Steve Johnson, Rayleigh Martinez. We're going to talk now a little bit about these upcoming fights, week, uh, upcoming weekends fights. That's right. Okay. We've got two good cards, actually, um, HBO and Showtime. Let me talk first about Showtime Radio. Um, two undefeated fighters, you know, it's going to be um, um, held in Manchester, England, mm -hmm. you know, where you know it's going to be wild and crazy. We've got Carl Frampton, who's 21-0. He takes on Scott Quigg, who's 31-0-2. That's 12 rounds for the IBF World Super Bantamweight title and WBA Super World Bantamweight titles. Now, I know to a lot of folks, they'll say, hmm, that's not too much. But when you have both world oh, titles, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. WBA and IBF are, um, uh, titles on the line, it's going to be legitimate. And in Manchester, England, you know it's going to be wild and crazy. It's going to be wild. I mean, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, good fights, you know, you got... You got, like you said, the undefeated fighters coming in. So naturally, you can expect a good fight, and chances are you're going to see a good fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, let me ask you something about uh, uh, the Manchester. And you remember back a few years uh, uh, when Ricky Hatton would come mm -hmm. and fight and stuff like that. Oh, if you ever man. notice on them fights where, where they would bring the drums and the horns and oh, the air horns, man. I haven't seen that lately. Do you think maybe they stopped them from bringing that into the arena? Or, I, I, I mean, because they used to be just just craziness, you know what I mean? I remember no. when, when Hatton uh, came and he fought in Vegas, and you remember that they brought all those, and everybody was complaining about it. Oh, man, it was, it was, you couldn't hear it was unreal. Man. You could hear was, air was, horns, was, uh, uh, horns, uh, all drums. Kept, all uh, you kept hearing was this. Dum, 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 dum. It's like, man, what is this Native American uh, parade going on in the was, background or what? It was kind of cool, but anyway, you know, uh, 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 do you favor any fighter? I mean, which one do you feel? Oh, feel? I, mean, I, I do. I like Carl Frampton. I've always liked yeah. Carl Frampton. Yeah. Uh, but Scott Quigg, like I said, man, he's got, the only thing blemish on his career is he's got two um, draws. Yeah, know, well, but that I'm, doesn't mean necessarily I'm, that, you know... Um, uh, it doesn't mean necessarily that I'm going to take anything away from it. This is the, this is a fight that the people in England specifically have been uh, clamoring for. Now they've got it. Yeah. So we will have a definite world champion in the man and weight division for the IBF and the WBA. Well, I was hoping to uh, uh, have a disagreement with you, but I'm not. I think Frampton's going to take this fight. I, I, uh, I think he. I, I give him the edge, uh, and I, that would be my pick to win this fight. All right, well, let's get to it then. We don't yeah. want to talk about that too much. I can no. tell by your attitude. You, want, you really want to talk about this, this Saturday night fight where we have the pride of Omaha, Nebraska, Terrence Crawford. He's taking on uh, that's right. uh, Hammer and Hank Lundy from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And there, that's where uh, uh, Crawford's WBO Super World Light... No, World Super Light... Super Lightweight. Yeah. World Super Lightweight title. 12 rounds. That's going to be a hell of Madison Square Garden in New York, New York. That's right. That's um, right. This fight, though, has all the, um, from every indication we get, um, this fight has a lot of action that's probably going to go off from the opening bell. Because Hank Lundy knows the only chance he has is to go try to put it on Terrence Crawford, yeah. to back him up, and maybe take him out with one punch. Okay? I think that that's a, a long shot at best. I think, um, you know, we we all remember that Hank Lundy came up through um, yeah, ESPN's Friday Night Fights. Yeah. He's one of their guys. Hammer and, and Hank. And um, there was a time when he was really a factor, but Hank is always a lightweight. And now he's fighting a guy that who is is going to be pretty soon a legitimate welterweight. Okay, so he's too small for, for he's too small for 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 Terence Crawford. But more important, Hammer and Hank has gone the route of I'm going to sell this fight. As you said, our last yeah. last yeah. week, you said his attitude is the uh, my, uh, Ricardo Mayorga. I'm going to sell this fight. But in this case, this is a dude that, you know, uh, uh, Hank, Cro uh, uh, Hank Crawford, uh, Terrence Crawford is a guy that's very humble, you know, and yeah, just is. goes about his business. But once you poke that bear, you woke up, you've woken him up, and he really wants to hurt uh, Hank Lundy, and I think that's going to happen. You know, I, 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 I agree with you. There's Hank, I think, is uh, uh, saying some things to, uh, I'm guessing, to promote the fight. But little do you know, when when you kind of cross that line and you start talking about wives and families and moms and dads, you know, when you're from the hood, there's just certain things that you really don't want to talk about <laughs> in a bad way, even though it's hype or whatever it is. So, so you know, you light a fire under uh, Crawford. I mean, uh, now he's kind of talking about the fight itself. I, I mean, the last thing I think I heard uh, Hammer and Hank say was... Um, 
he's hoping and he's waiting for uh, Crawford to turn into the South Southpaw Paul. position. He says, because that's going to be his opportunity to knock Crawford out. No, I mean, uh, he said that's his ass. That's well, what he well, said. I didn't want to say that. Okay? Yeah, I'll I'll say it. I didn't want to say it. that. But, okay. I'll say it. He said <laughs> but, if he turns Southpaw, that's his ass. Yeah, so so basically, uh, I can understand that. Stay with Stay with the fight antics, okay? This is this is so now we know what what Hammer and Hank is is training for. <laughs> we know what he's waiting for. So now let's see let's see if he can uh, make good on on uh, whatever he's been training, whatever their game plan is. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, I think uh, Crawford. How could you not like someone like Crawford? I mean, you you grow up, you come from Omaha, uh, and I don't think anybody out there really even knows Omaha exists except. Uh, Peyton Manning of the Denver Broncos, okay, because he keep yelling Omaha. I don't know why, but but now he's kind of put them on the map. And what what I like about Terrence, okay, what I really do like about Terrence, like you said, he's humble. He's done he, and all. But what I really like about him, and he's he's pretty much stood to his roots, okay, Omaha, Nebraska, and most most boxers when they get to that contender status, where they get into that. Elite contender status, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you 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 finish off the the club fights. You advance from the club fights. You get into a higher level of of, uh, of uh, competition. Okay, then you get into a prospect, uh, and then you get into contender, and then you get into high contender, which which you're starting to fight for these uh, uh, titles. Okay, now he stood very. What I'm saying is most 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 boxers when they get to that, what do they do? They leave to Vegas. Well, they leave to Vegas. They yeah. leave to Vegas. They leave, you know, uh, the, the the boxing so-called mecca, okay? He's, he stood in Omaha, and he says, I'm bringing the fights here to Omaha. You know, mm -hmm. I'm bringing them to, to my fans, okay? I'm not I'm not going to make my fans travel to, to that. But I like him. I like what he's doing. He can back up what he does in the ring. Yeah. How can anyone not like a fighter like that? Well, let me back up a little bit. You said nobody knows about Omaha except Peyton Manning. I have to uh, My dad was born and raised in Omaha. As you know, I got <laughs> roots in Omaha. The Faulkners, the Johnsons, the Hollingsworths. Hollingsworths. Um, I can go on and on if you want me to. But we got... Uh, nobody knows that. Who, you, who, no, outside, who outside knows those You don't think I'm outside? Well, that's all right. I'm talking we about. Know. I'm talking no, about right. important right. people. Oh, see, <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that's all right. Guess what? I'm talking. Me and Terrence Crawford, Bo Mack, the crew, Team Crawford. We gonna kick your ass on Saturday night. And you'll know. You'll remember what about him. Oh, no. Right. But no, on a, he's funny. He's being funny. But on a serious note, um, no, that's exactly what Terrence has done. He's kept not only his roots to Omaha, but he's kept Team Crawford intact. They haven't kicked anyone to the curb for. You know, for whatever reasons, you know, these guys that get high profile, they want to move away from their team and, and like you said, move to Vegas or whatever. No, he yeah, stayed yeah. right, yeah, right, he, right there. You don't, you don't Nebraska. see him, you don't see him running to, uh, 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 what's the trainer with the glasses? Um, you ain't talking uh, about Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach. You don't see him running to Freddie Roach or some other high is that profile all you trainer. about Freddie is the best? Yeah. <laughs> the guy with but, the but you don't see him do that, you yeah. know. You don't see him running over there to try to say, okay, this is what yeah. I... He knows what he, he, he can do in the ring. He's got the natural talent. It's polished now. He's got his team. Yes. Uh, um, I just like it. I like it. I, I, like I said, you know, um, and then also, you know, for the last uh, uh, um, part of his training camp, uh, Terrence Crawford and Bo McIntyre were down in Colorado Springs yep. at Coach Charles Leverage Gym. Mm -hmm. You know, those of you who know Coach Leverage, you know, he was the head man with the WCAP, the World Class Athlete Program, the U.S. Army team, which a lot of their guys now are turning pro. I will have a couple of them on the show as yep. things go. Yep. Um, Saturday night, unfortunately, last night, John Fastines Franklin went up to Minnesota and suffered his first defeat as a pro, but I know he'll be back. You yep. know, um, like you said many times, a loss doesn't do anything except determines if you're focused or not. That's right. And I know that he'll come back and he'll be refocused. Mm, mm, mm. So well, good. That's uh, that's what we can look forward to this weekend. Yes. Them good fights, and they're going to be good fights. So well, one thing down. before we go on that, just don't know. We got a couple seconds left. Our boy Henry Allen, the th Henry Allen the second. Sorry about that. Nephew. That's right. Henry Allen the second got his second win last My night. Second down in, pro fight down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, uh, uh, the, Good things are going to be coming from Henry. Yes, Good yes. things are going to be coming from Henry. He's focused 100%. Uh, his father is, is going, he's jumping in full boat, 
and uh, we're going to see some good things from him. Oh, man, and his dad, Kevin, like, you know, he's he's a numerous time Golden Glove state champion yeah. down there in Louisiana, yeah. so he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And once again, congratulations to you, nephew. That's right, Henry. Keep it going. I understand you're fighting in April again, and uh, we we'll hope to get you on the show. No, we're okay. going to get you on the show. <laughs> we're going to get you on the show. But anyhow, okay. Well, good. We'll be back with the third episode. Come back and see us. Until then, hey, keep them hands up. Keep them up, baby. <laughs>